Good morning, students. I hope you all are doing well. Today, we will start our chapter two. The topic name is microorganism, and I have divided this one into various part. Okay, every day we will take small, small. Okay. Subject teacher Iminungpa. If you have any doubt or queries, you can directly contact the concerned subject teacher. Okay, before we go on, let us try to have a look on our environment. We find living organisms everywhere around us. Some are extremely large and some are very, very small and that they can be seen through naked eye. Okay, and for that, we need a microscope. Yes or no? So, okay, they have, have a look on the first one that's microorganisms. Okay, organisms that are visible only through a microscope we call it microorganism okay we can't see with our own eye so it has to be observed through microscope we call it and that's organism we call it microorganism we also call this microorganism as microbes third point they are found everywhere that means we can find it under hot climatic condition also we can find it in extreme cold region that is the polar region also they are able to survive everywhere capable of surviving under extreme conditions that means they can survive under hot as well as in the cold or as in the um, hot water also okay next one during unfavorable conditions they form hard coating known as seed as we all know that microorganisms, they can survive even in volcanic eruption as well as in marshy land under unfavorable conditions. They form a hard covering over their body. Okay, and this covering we call it as the seeds. Okay, seeds. Once the favorable condition comes, they break these seeds and develop it into uh, the new individual or they become active okay that is the meaning of microorganisms you can find that in page number 18 okay next one um okay before that okay oh, those people who study about microorganisms we call it as microbiologists okay and the scientists who studies about microorganisms we call it them as microbiologists keep in mind next we have got is type of microorganisms okay it can be divided into five parts okay a five types first one is bacteria fungi protozoa algae viruses and this explanation you can have a look on page number 19 listen carefully later on you will regret if you don't listen properly First one is bacteria. When we have a look on this bacteria, okay, they are single-celled organism and we find this bacteria everywhere. Okay, bacteria can exist alone also, but sometimes they may found in group also. We have got various type of various type and shapes of bacteria. It might be spherical, it might be rod shape, it might be spiraled, or it might be comma shaped. Example is given out in your book. You can have a look on the picture that's given in your book. If it is spherical, we call it as cocci. Rod shape, bacilli. Spiraled, we, uh, spiral, we call it spirala. And comma shape, we call it as vipro. Everything is there in your textbook, the pictures. Next, we have got is fungi or you can call it fungi it's better to pronounce as a fungi okay this fungi lack chlorophyll that means they are unable to prepare their food these are also called as saprophytes we call it saprophytes because they grow in dead decaying organism the best example is mushroomed okay i hope you have seen mushroom yes the mushroom grow in the trunk of that decaying trunk yes or no and they are referred as saprophytes they uh, can be unicellular as well as multicellular next we have got is protozoa 
Okay, this protozoa, best example we can find it is amoeba, euglena, paramecia. Except these are some of the examples. They cause various kinds of disease in human beings. They may cause dysentery as well as malaria as well. Okay, they are also single-celled animals, single-celled organisms, and they can uh, they can move uh, they move from one place to another in search of food. They can find we can find this organism in the water as well as in the soil. Some organisms are parasitic, okay, that means they, they live in the body of other organisms and cause various kinds of disease in human being. Next, we have got is algae. Algae are simple plant, okay, they are simple plant having chlorophyll, that means they can prepare their own food to the process of photosynthesis. And most algae, we find it in water, but some are also found in the snow as well as in the hot spring as well as in the bark of the trees. Okay, easy way, uh, have you seen this bamboo tree? Bamboo tree? Yes. Uh, in that bamboo tree, trunk of the bamboo tree, we find something like white, white patches. Do you remember? That one we call it as... Uh, that is a kind of lichen, uh, that is a kind of lichens which is formed by the association of algae. Examples include like Climatominus and Spirochera, etc. Okay, the last one, the fifth one, the virus. These are the smallest, smallest microorganisms, okay, and they can be seen by the ordinary microscope which we have in the school, okay, and it can be seen only by the powerful uh, electron microscope. This micro, uh, sorry, this microorganism known as a virus can exist in two forms. They might be living or as well as non-living. They are non-living when not in contact with the living body and so that non-living state we call it as vir uh, virant they may be, uh, become living when they come in contact with the living cells and thus they start reproducing the best example we can find it is hiv hiv means this meaning uh, the preparation is human immunodeficiency virus another thing is rhinovirus that the influenza the common cough and call is caused by this rhinovirus and, uh, and this is an example of it okay let's have a look on the uses of microorganisms we often think that microorganisms cause only disease, but in some way or other way, they are beneficial to us and uh, as well as to our environment. And we are going to study um, based on the commercial, uh, commercial uses, medicinal uses, agricultural and environmental uses. Okay, the first one, let's go on with the uh, first one that is making of good. Good is produced or good is being prepared by using bacteria okay keep in mind see curd when we have a look on the curd curd contains a bacteria known as lactobacillus keep in mind and keep in mind okay when we have a look on the milk that we used to have uh, they contain proteins yes or no and the protein uh, name is casein okay casein okay when this curd a small portion of the curd is being added into this uh, milk chemical reaction takes place between the uh, curd that is which contain the lactobacillus and the protein that is the casein okay see and during that meantime they will undergo coagulation of the casein and convert milk into the curd keep in mind okay next one is the making of bread bread to make a uh, bread we uh, need a fungus known as the yeast yeast okay to make bread we need flour yes or no we make what we need water we need uh yeast as well as baking soda and these things are mixed together and we knit together to form a trot yeast mixed in trot reproduce rapidly and decomposes big uh, baking soda to produce carbon dioxide gas keep in mind this carbon dioxide keep on uh, rising in this trot and thus they form holes in the trot, in the bread. This makes the bread 
to rise up and become spongy and porous. Next one is making of alcohol privileges. Okay, when we have a look on this third one, to make alcohol, we need a bacteria which we call it as yeast. We we get a wine, we get beer, and these are all prepared by using a bacteria known as yeast. First, it will allow to go undergo fermentation. See, it involves fermentation of sugar present in poly, crabs, etc. by yeast. And later on, what happens is this. It breaks down sugar to form alcohol as well as carbon dioxide. Okay, in this we have they have used when we have a look on page number 20, they have used a term known as fermentation. Fermentation means the decomposition of organic substance such as sugar uh, to form carbon dioxide and water with the help of microorganisms known as yeast. We call that one as fermentation. Apart from this commercial uses, algae is also used for make uh, algae, which is microorganism, is used for making toothpaste. Bacteria are also used in various kinds of coffee, tobacco, vinegar, etc. When we have a look on the seaweed, seaweed is also used as a food uh, in some countries, and these are also a kind of microorganism. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.